Hello everybody, welcome to Tentalica, about 200 odd TV up, nearly 300 TV up, it's pretty nice obviously. He's an 11 man team, which is obviously very nice, he does have a claw, the claw threat from the Minotaur. Um, he does have 5 coaches and 5 cheerleaders, so that's nice. Um, he's got he's, he's gone for the fabled extra arms first build, so we're, we're dealing with a professional here. He's got 2 extra arms players in fact, for maximum star player point farming. Um, some blocks, a wrestle, okay, this is not a scary team, is it? But, um, you know, hopefully, hopefully his claw minor won't tee off on me. Um, and then obviously I've got a claw mighty blow, loads of guard, claw palm, brilliant ball carrier. He's just, he's just lacking dodge, isn't he? If he had dodge, instead of, I don't know, say the movement, or if he had dodge as well, <laughs> or dodge instead of the two heads, he'd be so much better. But, um, yeah, this, this he's got the apple. Yeah, fuck being in the other boy's position here. Yeah, it's a pretty <laughs> the extra arm symbol from Glaive Master. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess it'll be better. It'll be better. The ranking would be better if Champ Ladder wasn't default. But still, I do, I do like the idea of having minimum games because just because it, the streak is so so effective. The fact that when it was pointed out that sixteen and zero would beat Muldrips as ninety ten ten, the fact that Doe just discounted the possibility of going sixteen and zero tells you everything you need to know about about him, about who we have in charge of it. It's sad, sad days, but um, I'm not going to talk about Dode, I'm not going to think about Dode, I'm going to think about the game, and you can listen to the fantastic Fashbinder um, as I mute myself. So, oh, hello, goodbye. I went and got a caffeinated beverage. No oh, man, poor old dude. It would be nice if a bunch of people who have placed well gave their opinion on the on the format. I'm just too lazy. That's the thing, though. You see a uh, 14 win fella on the front page? That's really not hard to achieve. If only I wasn't so lazy. Uh, it ends on the 4th at midday Paris time. All right. So up against a Chaos team with a bunch of block, and that's really it. Uh, Chaos Chaos coach seems to have picked up two abbas. So yeah, look if there's been comments in chat. I just look at the team now. Uh, a bunch of twenty-three hours seems about right then. Gentos. Four Earls, three abbas, absolute madman. And yeah, look just just having block and a uh, core mighty blow minotaur. I dare say he's going to be the type that blitzes every home with a Minotaur. Took extra arms first over short hands. We all know how bad that is. Uh, so look, yeah, no, Jim will have this in the bag. And like the Apple will be great for the Chaos Coach in that he'll be able to protect his team from the Claw Bomb and the Claw Mighty Bow Warrior. Um, but he'll be down in men on the drive. And all Jim will need to do is take care of the Minotaur after it does some dumb blitz. And you know. Your average call coach is just going to do a dumb Minotaur Blitz for damage and not protect it. And Jim has the capacity to bang that down and then foul it out. And as he does seem to be the pixel huggy type, might even might even not Apo badly hurts. You could if you played Blood Bowl for a long period, I guess. If you've played non-stop, that's it, you could. Uh, Strongman's LOS. Uh, no bench for the Chaos, so unlikely to see Fallon. But who knows what Cole coaches are, uh, are capable of. But there shouldn't be. 
but it should still happen on the Palmer if it's available. I think if you're playing a team, uh, you're playing against a team who has only one Claw Palmer, uh, it's worth risking the foul every time. Or at least attempting to control the Blitz. Uh, for inducements, it absolutely should have been the Wizard. And maybe double bribe would that would be able to deal with the Palmer, able to turn over to win the game. It is definitely not two apples and a roll. There's only one extra assist for a three dice. And there we are, the advantage of receiving with a, a bunch of Claw Mighty Blow. Doesn't Apo, does he? Oh, he did Apo. Unbelievable. Maybe it's not a Pixel Huggy strat. He moves Frenzy Guy out of the way. Uh, other DP could. Double GFI to get the foul. Wouldn't it be glorious to have both apples gone on to, or two apples gone on turn one? 200k just pissed away. Um, it should be immediately a uh, sledger. However, there have some there have been some people advocating uh, a a break period of some description, which is just absolute madness. But it should be the very minute. Uh, that this one closes. So this one, yeah, so this one should be closed. The uh, snapshot of the people that played the most noobs and therefore qualified gets taken, uh, that gets posted, and then the new ladder should open. It should happen all fairly simultaneously. And look, there's no, there's no reason not to. I don't think uh, anyone who wanted to make an effort, you know, ran out of time. I don't think they were outgrinded. Uh, like if we look at season one, Muldrips' 100 games, he didn't play as hard as he could have. Uh, and in that, you know, he could have played more games if he wanted. I certainly could have. So yeah, there's no need for a break. It should happen immediately. But that'll be on forums.blubbowl.com, I think. A forums on cyanide, one of the two. Ah, oh, hello VIP cyanide nine. How you doing? Uh, so other chaos coach. Uh, well, rephrase chaos coach. Don't think he minotaur blitzed. Oh man, this would be a ballsy spot to pile on. Doesn't pile on, fair enough. Be interesting to see what the next two dice are. It's a real shame to make a core claw, uh, core, claw palm blitz and not pile on. Uh, so yeah, look, getting rid of the only claw mighty blow on the chaos team, a really good idea. But it would have been so nice if you could have done it in a matter of the ladder to pile on. Oh, and someone asked yesterday, what is the Vengabus gauge? Might... No, we, we won't see it here, but we could. Oh man, they might not have had friends in, in Germany, the TV series. Based Vengabus. I guess if we really look at it, could be a chain from the back to slide out a guard. Man comes in, able to slide out two guards, but then there's a blitz consumed to do it. So you can't get in 
and block. Really? So I guess uh, leveraging the four strength guard. Now that the Minotaur's out of the way. I guess, yeah, I guess Jim's thought through the play. Yeah, it's base as well. But yeah, so in this instance, I don't think it'll be punished, even on 1Ds. Oh man, following up blocks to base claw mighty blow. Unbelievable. Yeah, look, uh, <laughs> we're rolling one, guys, that don't matter. Uh, that then doesn't open up two dies anywhere. Isn't denying two dies. And some uh, crazy follow-on. Isn't really exerting any pressure on the ball. He's really just standing there and giving blocks. So I think if you were the Chaos Girl, if I was the Chaos Coach in this situation, yeah, it would be keeping the Minotaur safe uh, and blitzing with that and keeping it safe, treating it sort of like you would a claw bomber. Uh, but at the same time, trying to force Jim uh, to blitz to protect the ball and not blitz to make damage happen. And naturally fouling the Pommer out whenever it's on the ground. And look, uh, I always said to, to Jim, if I ever get brain damage, I need you to tell me to just play uh, Glob on Chaos and go full mans from turn one. And just doing that is enough to win you, you know, 20% of games at almost any TV. And so I think that's sort of what the Chaos Coach should look at here. Try and mans in a manner where everyone's single man marking so guard doesn't become relevant sort of like you want to, what you want to try to do with Dwarf. a bunch of guard spam it's tie them up in a single man on man situation and then get one guy free or be up one man or make the push on a turn where you've recruited a couple of stuff or on a turn where you've got a bunch of people standing that sort of thing Uh, second half of Sherlock. Uh, it's so unforgettable. I, it's so forgettable, I don't even remember. But I did watch the second half, I think. He and his brother talked about some stuff. And then there were, like, John flashbacks about how they're all lovey-dovey. Maybe I fell asleep again. Who knows? Yeah, look, just this this new season's episode, a bit lackluster. But yeah, quite right. Mighty Blow, Claw Hip, Fire On Dwell, and the Palmer also unexciting. I think if I was Jim, I would really be looking to get those pylons, uh, looking around at this Chaos Coach, see if you can tie him up uh, in a spectacular manner. Uh, so, for example, if we look at the left hand side of the field. If this was a success, you'd have four on, or five on four. So he's sort of outnumbered a little on the left, whereas on the right, he's uh, got a better number advantage. 
And so on the right, tie a bunch of people up and be able to block in a manner that allows you to pile on. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Worth it. 100% worth it. Alright, down to one Apo. One of you can see when he uses it. Or carry in a bit of a precarious situation in that it's a 3 plus 1 die or a... GFI for the 2 die. Or even extra arms man just gets freed and it... Four, five, six. It can be done on the dodge with dodge into... No, uh, it doesn't matter, he's not hitting the ball. Absolute madman. Yeah, look, I'm, I'm fuzzy on that. It's got to be someone without... Uh, stunty or... Regen or decay or strength. Which is a bit of a strange, a bit of a strange thing, really, as if their strength really matters. Uh, I did not see his record. More old one dies as a near last action. If you look at the board position, he moves his Chaos Warriors in a manner that gives, oh my god, gives Jim two immediate two dice blocks on his Warriors. But I guess he's playing for tempo. Like red die double powers outrageous. And you know, the the one Ds. But if he gets like on these one Ds, he's not getting banged down. If he's not getting banged down, he's got men standing. There is an advantage to it, but it's bad play that will eventually get punished. Unless Jim Rolls pushes on all his uh four mighty blow blocks. Oh, look, it could be rationalized in the fluff, you know, some sort of spiritual thing, soul thing. You know, the, the player dies and his body is chopped apart and remade into a rotter. Breaks like science monster. This should allow the pylon. Tis but a scratch. Yeah, look, these one dies and red dies will mean that the Chaos Coach has a bunch of blocks that he otherwise probably wouldn't be entitled to. Three plus and a double GFI for a two die on best for goals. And a triple GFI. But I guess Jim's made the read that because he didn't do it the last couple of times he could have. And he's just interested in making blocks and preserving the team. And that would fall in line with the inducement money spent. Fash is just the best at commentary. You're so good. <laughs> what do you mean? 
that 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 call there, brilliant, brilliant, spot on. It's something that I would never think of saying, even though oh. it was what I thought. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I just wouldn't think of saying it. So I don't know. You're pretty. I mean, bad it's on really it. obvious to be age. Sometimes I think it's worthless saying those sorts of things. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's the difference, though. I mean, some some people will be like, "Oh, I'll chin this guy, I'll make a Trudeau block here," and that's sort of dumb. Yeah. And that everyone can tell that. Well, that's you know going on there. But if you can say stuff that people might not immediately pick up, or that is not immediately happening before they're up, yeah, I think that's the sort of commentary you should, I, should, I try to do. Well, that, that's what I tr- like attempted, and obviously didn't do very well in the World Cup. And somebody somebody said, you know, like you didn't even commentate on what was happening. It's like, what am I going to say? This we lad's got two happening. dice here. It was, it's like, you know, oh, he's rolled a pow, and that that's what they were doing in the official one, weren't they? He rolled a six. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, who gives and a like fuck? And like that, that PlayStation cast room, but I remember Sir Iron uh, Iron Hel- Iron a lot or something. Iron Helmet. That's it. He's like, oh man, this MML is so good. This PlayStation League. <laughs> and they just should have saying obvious things. Yeah. yeah. Wow, one dice blitz. This guy is this guy loves his one dice and minus two dice. It's gonna yep. be scary when he hits the ball on minus two. Because he is playing the bash game, absolutely. Oh well one dice because he's strength four, so I don't wanna play too loose with the ball, but then I wanna get my removals in, don't I? It's pretty it's weird how like it's going so badly when it should be going so well. But never mind. Right, I yeah, better he'll get eventually get punished for it, for the ones and reds, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, eventually he'll get punished. And, um, yes, hello everybody, and um, I'll, I'll be back to thinking. <laughs> Moving on again. Um, I pointed out that this guy isn't playing for the ball, and that's why he hasn't done, you know, not too hard dodges to make two-die blocks on the carrier, because he's just playing to make blocks on the standing players in an effort at team preservation because if you're just making blocks on standing players um you're not getting blocked down if you do so successfully and one guys aren't statistically really bad and if he just commits all his rolls to doing it uh yeah he'll get through turn six or seven without really getting banged on and so it is bad and he won't win the game but you know it'll be a nuisance as for sports, yeah, I used to I used to like rugby league. It's like a uh, rugby union, but slightly different, more school based. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I don't know. But I mean, the official commentary in any, even other video games, uh, commentators sort of just circle jerk and talk about how good everyone is. Like how Scaramezzo gets really excited when he's. Uh, plays in some Atlas Reactor League where you just sign up and join it and the commentary there is always a big uh, circle jerk in which the guy will always talk about how and you know sometimes Scar would confess to me oh, in you know not moving to knock it attack but really I just forgot to move and it's it, that makes me sad not because you know I want to be M Scar even though it's hilarious but uh because it becomes a worthless commentary then. You don't have the, uh, the, the, the fine, I guess, to be able to make criticism. As long as it's fair and it's rationalised. Yeah, man, Brisbane Broncos fan. And, uh, refed a little bit. Like under 15 and 16 and whatnot. Always moaned about how New South Wales cheated in the state of origin and how the NFL or how the NRL rigged uh, uh, rigged the entire season against Brisbane by having state of origin uh, in the middle of a season so that the Brisbane team would get destroyed and not win every time. And if State of Origin didn't exist, Brisbane Broncos would win every single season. Dirty fucking NRL. And look, Rugby League is the greatest game. Uh, I think it was 2006, uh, Sydney Interactive, a New Zealand-based company, 
uh, released rugby league for the PC, and it was shit. And it hasn't happened since. <laughs> He's rolling. <laughs> He's Among rolling more power with success. one dice as a minus two dice than I am with two There's dice. There's no justice. There's <laughs> absolutely no justice. <laughs> Only three turns, uh, TBH fam, BTW. If that was a push, he'd be denied, he'd be denied his uh, follow-up one dice on the Guard Warrior. And with three turns left, there's a lot of Nurgles on the ground. Oh, really? What was it called, Bizzle? Get his name and uh, play it tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. Union. I think it was uh, Shibby Joe tried to explain to me how Rugby Union's rock and malt system wasn't just random bullshit. And there was some element of strategy to it. And he made some points that I sort of begrudgingly considered as valid. In that there was a strategy to where you fell and how you fell on the ground, and he indicated that there was risk involved when you've got when you've got the ball on the ground and people are diving over the top the, over the top to get the ball, and that you couldn't just perpetually hold the ball if with infinite, infinite tackles and there weren't sets of six. Two thousand five was it? Oh man, Azeron, oh baby. Yeah, look, it was. Uh, I think it was Madden oh seven. They got me into American football. Uh, like the superstar mode, where you made a character, Tim, from being a scrub rookie, you know, improved his stats, made him, made him a god. I really like that mode. And then when playing, developed an appreciation for American football and that it was just throwing the ball downfield and hoping some guy catches it. But there was strategy to, you know, darting out to the right and then juking back to the left, throwing, leading the throw to the guy that was juking to the left. And by him juking to the left, it allowed him to outrun the receiver that was marking him and that sort of thing. I still don't quite understand the difference between a 3 4 diamond f formation and a 4 3 nickelback formation. But yeah, look, a removal. Unbelievable. I don't know why you use the nickelback defense when you use a cold play defense. Cold play. Cold play, what a great band. Oh man, there'll be only two turns for Jim after this. And he's well tied up and on the ground. Wisely not pushing a, a standing beast area. Maybe he could have, and looked to make a block. And it is best for Gore. Forty stadiums and auto save. Oh man, yeah. Now it was more that when you played rugby league two, once your you know halfback had the ball, you had two options. It was pressing A to pass to the left or holding A to pass to the left a greater distance. There wasn't cool ways to set up plays like there was in Madden 07, or even Madden 06 or Madden 05. Finally punished. Come on. If he keeps on making these one Ds, rephrase. If he makes another one D and doesn't roll flawlessly. Jim's away. But yeah, it was competing with the Madden series at the time in terms of, and I liked rugby league a lot more than I've liked American football. Oh my God.
yeah, and they you know copped out and made excuses about budget and whatnot, which is you know fair enough. But to give you two controls in that you make a short pass or a long pass to the left, I thought that was really dumb. I'll oh, get banged on. No roll four plus three plus. Good. Finally punished. And our best of all is just going to scoot down the left. No hassle. Assume we could also make a chain to free the Pommer a little. Open guard knife and screen out the dodge guy a little. Hmm. Just seems to be throwing a basement there. This allows the frenzy to make a block safely. And then I guess the other guard can screen off. It also gains best for doors or square. look with guard as well um fairly safe from the beastman and the success to boot easy peasy Looking good so far, Tomo. Nah, it's best for goal. Best for seven move. No worries. Um, by moving seven squares with best for goal, and then risking the GFI with the warrior rather than just moving six squares and not GFIing with the warrior. It means that if there is some beastman dodge shenanigans, Best for Gore doesn't strictly need uh, his full movement to score. And so he has the leeway of being able to dodge out to the left or right. Or, you know, make a block and get it both down for success and not be shafted. It's always better to have more more movement than you need to score. Uh, for the Chaos Coaches, one play is the dodge and the Blitz on the Warrior, just to get in front. And uh, that'll be met by the open Rotom. So it should be fairly dandy. Oh man, ballsy red dies. Five plus to red die. Unbelievable. Oh, baby. Just a stun. I think in this uh, matchup with the guy having three apples, I think it's worth making the poor Mighty Blood Blocks. Even just a ton of them. Greed <coughs> is good. Greed is right. Greed Although it's works. a situation like this, and I've quad sculpted. 
Absolutely. Great is good. Great is great. You know, even I get a three die. Oh, no. Could that have been the boots? Oh, I didn't have guard. Pretty good, but unrewarded. Hey, look, single cas so far is nice. Uh, so is upper man, which would be great for turning someone over and not losing to a potato. Uh, the guy has no bulge to do. So, uh, mash for gauze doesn't strictly need to be the one that sweeps for a potential potato. And you know it's likely to be a potato. Um, but unfortunately, it's still probably not worth Guard Warriors on the line, with the uh, especially not with the Claw Mighty Blow Minnow. Even though you could make some blocks more difficult, uh, he'll commit all men's to doing it, so yeah, it's probably still not worth it. I like this, just giving the uh, Claw Mighty Blow Blitz on Rodders. Another subtlety is the position. Uh, if you were playing against an elf team, like if we're talking about strictly 100% blood ball, having the serving presence cover more spaces, I guess it doesn't really matter. No one's party in that regard. But I mean, just as a force of habit, having the serving presence cover cover squares is good. Oh yeah, and look, who's got for blocks? Isn't that nice, eh? Oh, another subtlety. Uh, best for gore and mash for gore. Sideline. If a thrower rock comes and hits number 14 or 15, rotter. Uh, 13 or 14, rotter. It has saved best or mash for gores. Just quietly. Oh man. Ah, <laughs> oh, so nice when it's someone else. So nice. Yeah. Oh, boo. Oh. Good old uh, cyanide. They'll show up as a 21 in the second Kaz roll. Yeah, so he'll be back for the next drive. But that's good. The last apple gone for free. For no reason. Say so first action Minotaur block? I can't tell. Yes! He's that cup of guy. First action Minotaur. Betty feels he's so unlucky. Oh no, I use my Minotaur first and said any any absolutely anyone else but Cal's worry that happens to block. No, let's get that Minotaur block in. For two dice when it could have been easily three. Uh, so like Skaven, I don't absolutely hate a Minotaur on a Chaos team for the first five games. Uh, even even five or six, up until you've got your Claw Pommer running. Once you've got your Claw Pommer, I don't like the Minotaur, as he competes with your Claw Pommer for the Blitz. And that's bad. 
but early on I don't hate him in a couple of thousand TV matches when I've had the Minotaur I thought it was good because I only made three dice blocks with it three dice block mighty blow uh, three dice mighty blow blocks at a thousand TV he's usually pretty good I don't think so Grendel I think he should have absolutely got a wizard and absolutely got bribes bribes to allow you to foul the claw plumber if it's ever on the ground and the wizard allowing you to turn over and score and win the game in this particular chaos he had a uh, two extra arms men so there's some form of capacity to dodge in and dodge out after picking up the ball and attempt to get somewhere i mean it sucks to be down tv in a bash matchup there's no doubt about it but buying apples is never going to win the game Oh man, a bunch of flanking beastmen on the corners. You know he wants to uh, potato. Similarly, you could tie the Minotaur up into a rodder. And, uh, very phrase, you could tie the Minotaur up with a rodder. And Chaos Warrior the line. Tie up his Chaos Warriors. Uh, or Nova Warrior the line. Tie up his Chaos Warriors. And deny all those blocks. And if he's not making LOS blocks, you know he's just going to make one dies or red dies or do something. And if you get your opponent doing something dumb, you'll win the game. And as Jim is upper man, could be just right to shadow everyone else. Single man mark, I like it. Similarly, I wouldn't be too worried about the right hand rotter getting surfed, but what I might look to do, uh, if we look at the number seven beastman on the right, if you put the rot directly uh, in front of it, it means that the beastman, when he one Ds or even a two Ds, the rod he follows up and it is in a straight line. You can set up the frenzy for the subsequent turn, surf him out, and then potentially final drive of the game. Having a man off the field and on turn nine is pretty good. So I'd probably risk, uh, you know, beastman surfing from a or blitz attempt at a serve after the mentor blocks to be up a man. Yeah, so this was good. Mash for Gores maybe on the left and or even both on the right. Best for Gores on the left covered. Whereas the hole seems to be if it's happening, the hole will be on the right when the Minotaur clears a guy. Chaos Warrior one ds the rightmost guard. And then the open beastman runs through full shenanigans. And look, I, I can't see this guy just based on how he's played doing anything but Yeah, look, when you're up men, the old man becomes not so bad. Especially on a team with family block. Yeah, I, I like the Frenzy back an extra square, just so the Minotaur on pushes into a pal can't tag the Frenzy. First action Minotaur, love it. There's a one dice to make, you gotta make it. Seems like a good second action.
That action red die. Oh man. Five golden rings. Four one less box. So two minotaurs. Uh, four minotaurs. <laughs> Three red die blocks. And a double pow into work has. On the sixth day of Christmas, my bubble opponent gave to me three free, uh, six free serves. First action, Minotaur. Four one dust blocks. Follows on pushes, so the other beastman only gets a one die. Takes the one die. I sing all the time, Tony. You should know this. The Sound of Silence is a great song. Oh, I don't... <laughs> I don't want to go too far down the rabbit hole. It's a little bit scary if I start them on Scottish accents. So, uh, a strong set of safe 2 die blocks all across the line from this Chaos Coach. The first he fails is a two plus. It's the safest action he's made all game. I, I, I could, I could do it for you, Grendel. That would be a little bit of effort, though. Having to revert to my native tongue for commentary for an entire match. Don't know if I could do it. So Jimmy's just got to make uh, his own safe two dead locks and actually get the successes. And from that, it should be pretty hard for uh, the Chaos Coach to make any form of movement. In the south will be a wee bit difficult. And that, it's not even really possible. You set up for next time, though. You mean uh, in Manchester? I'm not from Manchester. I'm from Lothian. Oh, uh, it's sort of near Glasgow. Wouldn't mind to see a best for go opened up a little bit. Just so we can go and rack the ball and steal it. If we can steal the ball now, we'll be in a really good spot. Baby, as we like to say, uh, in Scotland, got some McHuggis and uh, here we feel that all the way down the Western Isles. Unfortunately, the Chaos Coach has been left with a couple of blocks, it could uh, smash the wall on the Alalas all the way to Orkney.
might even be going for a cheeky Minotaur surf. No one even expected. I take out a rot on, then get counter soft. Ah, oh, this seems worth it. It was no but serious. It wasn't it wasn't like it was Asphagal that took the death. No one's even bothered. Do you wanna make some nice two dicers? But it still hasn't got Basfagal for you. Which I think will be a key part of him getting downfield the star. Or even at this point, getting Ducky Fagar down, it'll be it could be a Three or four touchdowns away from a level. Oh, looks like he'll actually get the serve. Finally, a wee bit of justice. Oh, look up. I think he hasn't conceded already. He'll probably stuck it out. But you know, he's gonna do a fast action Minotaur. Seems like the thing he's been doing all game. Gotta get those one dices in. One or real on your fast action. I don't think he's a chase and win type Vizzle. I don't I don't think he's won a game of Blood Bowl 2 in his life. No one that wins games of Blood Bowl makes one dice blocks. Not so recklessly. As my uncle uh, McDonald McMackerson said, you don't make one dice blocks if you want to uh, if you want to scale the wall. Don't know what you're talking about. I li I live in a part of Scotland where they don't have salmon fish.
Yeah, I live in a landlocked part of Scotland. You know, uh, West the Lothian. There's no fishing boats. We have to walk the land, and it's harsh. It's harsh man country. It's uh, summon fish, Tony. It's what we, we the landlocked Scottish call it. Just so we need to differentiate. It's sort of like how uh, some people might say uh, uh, hockey, whereas people from Canada would say, or oh, uh, guys, people from Canada would call hockey hockey, uh, whereas people from non ice -related, related countries would call ice hockey ice hockey rather than just hockey. And so, me being a, a Scottish man who, uh, who doesn't live near the water, uh, I have to call it a salmon fish just so people aren't confused. Oh, Ducky forgot, picking up the ball. He picked up the ball, that's what he did. I haven't seen hands like that cup and ball since, uh, since that famous Scottish day where they celebrated the thing that the Scottish man did. It's uh, widely celebrated in the home country. It's the fourth time this week a salmon mammal, <laughs> a salmon mammal has got me. I was walking, walking down the road, yeah, near Glasgow, and uh, a salmon mammal came crawling out of the bushes and jumped on my face. I had to fight it away. Look at this madman going for a six plus dodge when he could have just done a three plus. Absolute insanity. Even think about some SPP farm in this match. So, uh, look, Ducky for goal ball in hand is a great target to score on. But look, there's a KO that's likely to come back. And I don't think Jim's down, man. I have to count it. And me, uh, me counting in Scottish isn't very good. Start with a one. And, and subsequently comes the number two. I think it'll just be a throw. Looks like it might be a three less block into a touchdown. Yeah. It didn't move the bottom rotter. Right we in the one on the tentacles. The one trapped on the tentacles. Yeah, I'm committed. Let my brother Seamus McDonald McMaxon. He was a, a commitment uh, oh, fellow man. too. Oh. Would always follow through with things that he said. Yeah. Um, hello, Fash, everybody. Um, I just had a cheeky look at chat there. The reason I didn't move that rotter down there was I thought one of the chances he had was to randomly make a crazy potato thing. And I thought, what was the point of moving? Like, the rotter that was down here, you know, what was the point of moving up here? It'd not really do anything. I thought, far better. You could have dodged away this beast man here and done something. So I just wanted to remove any chance. Well, not any chance, but make the shenanigans a little bit less likely to happen. Gotta make it a little bit harder on a six plus dodge. Yeah, yeah, that was six pluses and a three plus was interesting, wasn't it? Um, 
I just can't believe that it, I'd wanted to farm because you know obviously I can turn him over and score on four again. But the thing is, he's got this this fucking claw just kills a Nurgle warrior. I'll feel really bad, won't I? So I I didn't yeah. know that I should have scored or not, but never mind. Hopefully, I think it's worth it. You know, getting the extra star player points and Ducky Fagos in it. It's a perfect time to skill him up, or maybe even get a touchdown on on this Nurgle warrior. Maybe I should have tried that actually. Maybe Seems like a good play for the last four turns, but you know he's just going to be blocked with it when it's on offer as he's done with every block for the entire game. There's a block here, I'm going to click it. That's what he's going to do. Yeah. Definitely maybe. do have to take it out there. But so thinking about it, maybe I should sure. have, um, rather than getting the touchdown on Ducky there, I just saw it, you know, and went for it. Bit of tunnel vision there. Maybe getting the touchdown on him would have been better, wouldn't it? Uh, which warrior? The warrior who's on 28. Uh, Get him to 31. Didn't think about it till just now. He can still score in four anyway if he goes for it a few times. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even need to go for it, does he? What, what, no, he doesn't need... I, I'll, so I'll try and move him forward to try and get a, get a shot. But right, anyway, I'm going to go and, go and try to focus. Choose. <laughs> Choose. Oh, no doubt about it. Fortunately, getting a uh, unschooled rocker rather than a noble warrior. But yeah, that's the biggest fear to prolong the, uh, the drive. Jim was pretty happy having the Minotaur tied up on the rudder uh, previously. And look, had the Chaos Coach made the LOS box with not including the Minotaur, and then made the Minotaur. And had died, he would pretty bad. Yeah, dirty first action Minos. And look, it won't be too hard to get the two down a minute all. Seems to be attempting a scoring fight. What a top fella. Doesn't burn his last roll on a 1D. Yeah, look, you know he's going to blitz with the Minotaur, and so not. Not allowing that to happen by having it on the ground and stunned will be the way to go. Oh man. The one rare or five plus into disturbing presence. That'll be two disturbing presence. And, uh. Best of it, we'll pick that up without a blitz. And be safe from everything but a red. Madman, absolute madman. Yeah, it's more, not, not to take out his kill, but just so you don't lose random shooter blocks. Oh no! He's blocked himself. No, it's pushes. Yes. The greater roll. Got him. No pylon. Club man midday tomorrow and midday Paris time.
Uh, the warrior, however, not looking, not looking the force ways forward you would prefer it to be. <laughs> Never any doubt. Never any doubt at all. Might be better for Jim to choose no to wrestle here. If he had the option. And so if that guy chose no to wrestle, it would be a turnover. Fuck off, you cocksucker! Jesus fucking Christ! Hey, uh, fan fox bullshit. <laughs> I uh, know ghouls make great ball carriers, but they exist to die. So don't be too disappointed when they do die. But block short hands, and then they die. And then you just keep on sucking through them. You want to get stubbles, uh, guard for sure. And you've got a cool blodge guard. Then go on a pipe soft to help out a walk on a frenzy. But yeah, no, ghoul ball carrier for sure. Seven move dodge, leave the walls open to do useful things. Baby, could get the hand off this turn. Wouldn't want to, but you could. You never close your eyes anymore when I kiss your lips and there's no tenderness like before in your fingertips you're trying hard not to show it fan fox but fan fox fan fox I know it oh man this is ballsy <laughs> Jimmy's on Maverick. And plus, Iceman was the real hero of Top Gun. Did things by the book. Cold as ice. Calculated professional flyer. Did things right every time. Followed the rules, kept everyone safe. I, I don't know a bigger Iceman than I. Plus, Val, Val Kilmer, coolest dude ever. Yeah, Maverick was just dangerous. That's why I'd never liked him. Oh. 
What do you mean, Clever Man? He was. Oh, nice. Random Kaz. It's like, uh... William Zabka uh, was the hero of Karate Kid. Draco Malfoy was the hero of Harry Potter. Jamie Lannister is the uh, hero of Game of Thrones. It was really Tywin. Oh, good work, pacifism. Thanks for the follow. Jimmy had the temerity to make a one dice block. His first one dice block of the game. Hundred percent skull rate. So it's all up to this warrior to catch a four plus with a reroll. Shouldn't be hard. Yeah, look, the, the gold mines might have uh, run dry. Show. Uh, oh, I get banged on. But I'm sure a uh, shrewd, skilled man like Tywin had more business enterprises than just mine. It would be like Bill Gates having founded Microsoft, sold it for billions, and then being like, well, I've got no Microsoft now. What will I do with these billions of dollars? Yeah, good work, eh? Didn't even need the rear roll. Wonder what he'll get. We'll soon find out. Unbelievable, Jeff. It's also between mighty blow. Ten Unbelievable, minutes. got the got Ten the touchdown. Down. Normally, I'd go mighty indeed. blow and then claw on him, um, but obviously, I'm not mm. going to get the chance to get two skills on him. And if I qualify, and if I qualify, then I'm, there's loads of elves, aren't there? So there I think I'm going to go tentacles. Stand firm is really good though, as well against against those kind of shitters. 77 red dice in. Unbelievable job. <laughs> wow. And I made one one dice and it was a skull. <laughs> That's funny, isn't it? And he was just minus 2D and powers, 1D powers. That means fair enough. He was unlucky in the matchup. He was unlucky in the matchup. So. Well, oh, yes. And yeah, being made pad down in that, for sure. But it didn't help his case with the Apo usage. Yeah. Or the inducement purchase. Yeah. Hmm. So I guess um I guess I could buy the fourth pestigore now. Ooh, the bloat. It is a lot of bloat. But Ducky doesn't get that much if he gets mighty blow. Whereas having another mobile wrestler. I mean he could even get two heads, to be honest. You know? And get and get a um or tackle and get a wrestle tackle. I think getting a wrestle tackle in in the next um you know three or four games, however many I've got left. 
Um, at least just getting a mobile wrestler against like all the agility. But then I don't want too much TV, do I? That's the thing. You know, like, would a bolt just be better and just being more trim? Yeah, beam. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't want to give away wizards. That's the thing, Grindel. Yeah, getting the beast. Oh yeah, Juggernaut. Yeah, maybe Juggernaut. Um, the thing about the thank you everybody. Um, yeah, the thing about getting the beast is it wouldn't. I wouldn't get. I would depend on. It would depend on um, the TVs involved. You know, I would, I would like to get a kind of a cash like this. Cash like this. Just leave the team like this, and then like see who I'm drawn against. And let's say I get drawn against the 2080 Dark Elves of Ducky, then I probably would buy a, buy a beast. But if I was drawn against a 1740 Skaven, I'd be like, fuck that, I don't want to give them a wizard. And, and so, you know what I mean? So I'd do something like that. Um, oh, God, if it would be a lot. Um, yeah, so actually, actually, to be fair, this 70k of bloat might be worth keeping, mightn't it? In a way, that's not a bad idea. As Bizzle says, save your money for buying more cheetah wizards. That's not even a bad idea, is it? So stand firm would be really good. And it's really good against Bash as well, that's the thing. Whereas the tentacles isn't so good against Bash. Um, but I do like... I, the, the team's called Tentalica. I've got to take... I've got to take tentacles, haven't I? But stand firm is stand firm would be useful in those bash wars when you've got all these guard and they just can't even push you. It's really good. But tentacles would be better against the um, the agility teams. Yeah, looking at the leaderboard, ton of dark elves, ton of wood elves. The bonus three that qualify are, is going. Yeah, tentacles is so good though, isn't it? Tentacles is so good. 50% of the time, sure. Just as well it isn't called Extra Arms, Talika. Um, <laughs> yeah. The thing is, though, Kick of Death, yeah, if you're up TV, just give it away, but then you're giving away 70 to buy a wizard. So you're giving away 70 to get 150. So you're actually saving 80 in a way. Whereas if I just give away, if I just burn that 70, it's like. Yeah, definitely. I would I would end your run if you're confident that you will place uh, with you know, 300k in the bank or whatever it is. Yeah. Hmm. And then make the decision based on your opponent's TV and assess what could possibly change. Maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe. But you need the skill swap to find out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry there. <laughs> yeah, tentacles is not that great. That's the thing. It's not about how many agilities, Kurgle, in the last few three days. It's about the finals, isn't it? You know, that's the thing. Um, you can just tackle might be fine. Yeah. I, it's between stand firm or tentacles. They're my only two choices. I'd normally go stand firm and then tense because then obviously the tense is better when it stands firm um, because they can't just push it away. Like if I go tentacles, people will just minus 2 DM or 1 DM. And um, no, tense is really... Strength 4 tense is actually fantastic. T TBH, yeah, it's just, for the, it's just for the things. Tense is amazing. And the whole idea of this, this team was to show how good tentacles was. Um... And I'm not even I'm tempted to go stand firm just because stand firm's good now. Like really, tentacles would shine at fifty-one because then they no, don't. Oh God! Uh, same time, God will always shine. Yeah, block guard stand firm is amazing. But then with tentacles without stand firm means people just one dice him away. Yeah. Um, and then stand firm means if he if he bases an elf, that elf is gonna have to dodge, and he might he might roll a one or a double one. But the yeah, thing is, I'm not going to get an after Vilenic. That's the thing, because there's only three or four more games at time. If, I, if I'd done this run earlier in the month, which I could have done, then then I would have probably gone st um, stand firm and guard and tense later and then played you know, you know, another 40 games with the team or whatever and had them looking really, really powerful. But um, it's tough with it just being one more skill. 
there's an argument just for Mighty Blow. I'll probably get more value out of Mighty Blow than a, than a Stand Firm. Against Elves, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. This is really, this is really tough. A really tough choice. But thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.